Hi guys, as you can tell, a few from our boxes to review. So basically what the idea is, I am going to review all these in one lot, if you understand what I mean. So basically we're going to start off with the Romanian I I A R A T. I always get confused with that one. A uh, few other kits, as you know, I've got this one. And then I have the special hobby, the Buffalo for the finished version. And then it's just come in the new ICM Heinkel 111. So I'm going to be reviewing the, the all these three. And we're going to start off with the top one. So we'll just go crack on with it. And I'll basically go after one after the other in separate videos, basically. Okay, so we're starting off with this brand, well I don't know if it's brand new, is it? Face 2016, is it? Uh, so have a quick look, didn't do my research. Uh, yeah, 2016, new, well, new, from Hobby Boss, the Romanian aircraft, the IAR-80. See from Hobby Boss, ages 1, well sorry, ages 14 plus, scale of 148, so very modern scale. Uh, just have a quick look. It does come with uh, decals and photo etch parts for this kit. So this is perhaps not a toy. Uh, just going across. Uh, box number, well, the kit number is 81757. So there we are. And I think, by the looks of it, you get two marking options for the side. On the side there, just on the bottom, a little descriptive thing on the front. So just a quick read of it. The IAR-80 was a Romanian World War II low-wing monoplane all-metal monique fighter and ground attack aircraft. When it first flew in 1939, it was, a, it was comparable to temporary designs such as the German Bechersmith BF-109B and the British Hawk Hurricane Mark I. Production problems and lack of favourable armament delayed entry of the IAR-80 service until 1941. It remains on frontline use until 1944. Okay, so a little bit of history. Now, so for cracking with the box. Now, I have to admit, guys, it's a bit of a tight box this one is, so bear with me. 2,000 years later. I got the box open, and already you're given a load of stuff. So, um, this, this is new items for 2016 such as the Meshmet 109, the Soviet BA-20 armoured car, uh, I don't know what scale that is in, does it say? Yet yeah, 135th, and then on the back it's got the production, or the the nice parts about the actual kit itself. So that's pretty handy, very nice. Uh, so, given all this lots a plastic kit. Okay, so we're going to start off so I was with the instructions, very modern, one in British and one in Chinese writing there, do's and don'ts of the kit and that itself, plastic, oh sorry, please read before operation, it does sound like an operation actually, okay, as you can tell from the call outs there is not a lot of parts whatsoever, you have three plastic sprues, one clear sprue, a small piece of photo etch and the decals. And unused parts, it says C32, that's it, C32, that's the only parts you don't use. So apart from that, use everything else. Okay, so cockpit's coming down here, we have some very nice seat construction going on. With the, uh, it's a bend of course for the, the actual seat harnesses going in there. You got your, I, see, I think that's a seat adjustment, I don't know the controls for the IR80 so you have to bear with me. Your foot pedals or rudders, whichever, control surfaces, your, your joystick, I can't remember its name then, joystick, and by the looks of it, some detail for the panels. And that all goes together in one lot, and that is painted in RML 66, which is a dark grey. And then you have the instrument panel, I uh, think a decal goes on there, so it's up to you what you want to do. Going on for metal plating again, and then that's fixed the sidewall with the auction tank. Now the sidewalls are actually painted in RML02 grey, so that's a very green grey, very one of my favourite colours actually. And of course the tailplane going on to the side of the fuselage. So then that another radio compartment goes on the side there, it's 
very nice detail by the looks of it. Oh, that does look very nice in the interior walls there. They go together like that. You rate the engine, so you've got four pieces of the engine, makes the two lots of 14 cylinders go onto there with the spark plugs and the a exhaust system get fitted in there. I don't know what that part is, I do not know. So I'll probably for the spinner. Then you've got your wings going in. Now this is one crucial thing, the guns are actually moulded onto the wings, onto the bottom half, so I would be careful when making it. Wings go on, onto a fuselage there. Then, I don't know how this works, it looks like you've got your flaps and your ailerons in one great big chunk there for both of the wings. Then you've got your rudder, which of course the decal goes on the back, which I'll probably leave till later. Yeah, ailerons, yeah, your, your, uh, your front cowling pieces, and then your cockpits, which you can have either open or closed, uh, or windscreen, whichever. Then going on, landing gear legs fitted on with the covers. They're fitted on perfectly like that. And then last but not least, you've got your radiators and the rest of your uh, the exhaust and the, uh, what's it? Oh, I don't know what that was, but it's on the back, on the bottom of the um, ailerons. Last but not least, your pitot tube. A I really need to get these words right. Your pitot tube, your antenna, and then your prop going on with the spinner. That. So that is really it, guys. It's not really a huge kit. Not a huge kit at all. Uh, last but not least, we have... Uh, two marking options. Uh, okay. Okay, so there's not much different between the two. Uh, apart from this one has a nice clover on, so that looks really nice. Four leaf clover. And your pitot tube is different colours, so you have one with the red and white scheme, or you have the one with the blue and white scheme. Uh, one problem, guys, I have to point out, it does not tell you, it gives you the colour call outs in Mr. Colour Vallejo Model Master Tamian Hombra, which is very nice. But the problem is, though, it doesn't give you any information about the aircraft itself, who it flew by, whereabouts in Romania it settled, or anything else like that. So I'm guessing these are just high scoring IRA 80 um, fighters, fight racers, I guess. So I'm just going to put you have white 42 and white 137. Uh, that's really it guys. So that is really that. Uh, let's go over the plastic parts. Okay, plastic parts, first bag. They're all individually bagged, which is actually very handy. So that's very handy for us. Take this, cut it open like so. Oh. Okay, plastic. It's... It's very soft, I'll give you that. It's not too soft, but it's soft enough. I mean, you see now if I press down the tail there, it's very soft. Uh, this is the part of the fuselage halves. There's nice recessed panel eyes and also raised detail, including the, for the exhaust systems going on the other side. There's nice cockpit detail too, and especially in the interior walls on the side. I think you can see in two seconds, let me just have a look. Yep. And see there on the interior wall details. All that, no problem. You got your seat there going on. So basically, it's very soft plastic, guys. It's very soft indeed, but there is pretty much. Yeah, let me just fo refocus you a second. Okay, as I was saying, nice detail there all together. Very nice. The Actual fuselage sides, detail on the actual product there, across the engine cowling, and smash the cockpit area. Okay. okay, next bag have our wing sections and ailerons. Go on there. Oh, okay, be careful, very, very careful now, guys. Oh, as you can see now, the plastic was very soft. If you look at it, you can almost bend it on the screw there. Okay, as you can tell, it's got some nice, very fine interior detail on the actual um, wheelbase. Sorry, I couldn't figure the word again. And of course, then you've got your two uh, 30 calibre guns on the side there. I think they are 30 calibres, I'm not sure. Apart from that. 
uh, on the top wing here you have some nice again recessed panel lines you get some nice panels for the guns and the ammo capacity feeds in the side there uh, not to mention you got your tail which goes two pieces together and that's really it guys that's really the main aircraft features on there so as you can tell the wing tips go around and fold in underneath to make the panel line so that's pretty good very nice and again fabric detail on these wings on the either one sorry very good I think you can see there not sure but there you are and on the last pieces so the last group we have here so naturally uh, Hobby Boss has actually put a nice piece around here uh, I think these are for the engines so okay, I'm just trying to get this off there we are like so nice protected frost for in transit okay so you have the oh okay um, I know the IRA had landing flaps but I think I think they made the flaps for the ailerons and not the landing flaps in one lot. But either way, nice detail. Fabric detail is absolutely beautiful. And again, the engine detailing, superb guys. Wow, well done, Hobby Boss. Very nice. Uh, landing gear legs. I can't see any part where they put the... Oh, what's it called? Anyway, got the wheels going on there. And uh, let's have a quick look. Oh, that's a nice feature as well. The exhaust stacks are actually drilled out as well. So that's very nice. Let me refocus you again. So there you go. Very nice detail across there. That's got say the rounds in the engine. And the wheels, treads, very beautiful, very nice. And if we flip over, we have the exhaust all hollowed out there. Okay absolutely really nice kit guys okay last remaining parts the windscreen here cut this open if we can come on okay again the windscreen is actually again protected for us to actually oh, not anymore not anymore again This is trouble. You tape it around so well, and the tape is just so thick. Unbelievable. Okay, so that's that. But, oh wow. Okay, guys, now you actually get your front windscreen, your rear windscreen, and your gun sight for the clear pieces. They are absolutely crisp clean and you can see through them no problem now the actual mirror is actually fitted on top of the sliding canopy that I guess that makes it easier but look at it's clear they are clean as hell so it's always better to put these inside a location like this to actually protect them from damage or anything like that wow absolutely awesome I'm gonna put them back in the bag out of the way Okay, sort that out in a minute. Then you have your photo etch pieces, not many. You have your buckles and your belts and then an armoured plate there for your cockpit. That is really it. And then lastly, in a nice sealed bag, you have your decals, which are here. Oh, perhaps break or rip them. Okay. And that's, oh, that's sellotaped around like that, okay. Okay, so obviously be very gentle. Why have they put sellotape on? <laughs> I do not know. Okay, it's going to cause problems. Oh, great, come on. Okay, tell you what. I don't like this. Okay, right, okay, so the decals are very nice, very glossy, but there is actually some 
wouldn't say residue, but there's like some patterns in there, so I think a gloss coat would be needed, guys, for these models. The or the decal, sorry. Even that, very nice. The decals for the actual instrument panel are there. No problem whatsoever. Very few decals as well. So that is really quite simple. So for a kit its size, very nice. If you look for a quick build that should be good, then I, just, I should say, go for this guys. Uh, I got this for how much did I get it for? Uh, it's 20, yeah, it's 20 quid I got this one for. So hopefully that should be really reasonable. But apart from that guys, hope you enjoyed the review and I'll crack on with these other reviews. But again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it.